Gorilla Glass, also known as chemically strengthened glass, is hardened to resist breaking. In this video, I'm going to teach you about the properties of Gorilla Glass, how it works, and how it's made. I'm also going to take you through a ton of really cool applications for Gorilla Glass. Hi, I'm Sydney with Two Way Mirrors. Every week, I bring you new content based on our expertise in the glass and mirror manufacturing industry. Let's get started. So what is Gorilla Glass? Gorilla Glass is clear glass that has been chemically strengthened so it is stronger and safer than regular glass. It is designed to be super thin, lightweight, and damage resistant. It is produced by Corning Incorporated in Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Fun fact, Corning was actually responsible for creating the glass for the Edison light bulb in 1877. They've had well over a century to learn all the ins and outs of glass production, so I think it's safe to say that they know what they're doing. Gorilla Glass came about in the 1950s, but wasn't really put to that much use until 2007 when Apple CEO Steve Jobs asked Corning for a more durable phone screen option. What makes Gorilla Glass so special is its durability. It's a thin piece of glass that is harder to scratch, more resistant to breakage, and more flexible than your typical piece of glass. Some Gorilla Glass even has antimicrobial properties that help fight off bacteria. Now that we know what Gorilla Glass is, how does it achieve its super strength? After all the raw materials are blended and melted together, the glass goes into a trough called an isopipe. The glass mixture flows over the sides of the trough and fuses together in the container below in a continuous sheet of flat glass. After the glass cools into a solid sheet, it goes through chemical strengthening and an ion exchange process. It is dipped into a hot salt bath where sodium ions are exchanged for potassium ions. The potassium ions are larger than the sodium ions, so they fill any gaps that are left in the glass from the production phase. The tight fit from the potassium ions is what makes the glass so strong and less prone to breakage. Think of it as using bubble wrap to package something fragile before shipping. The bubble wrap fills the gaps in the box to make things less likely to shift around and break, just like the potassium ions. Gorilla Glass is used for so much, I can almost guarantee that you're looking at a piece of it right now. Gorilla Glass is responsible for providing the glass for 6 billion screens. It's used on phones, TVs, tablets, and smartwatches. The fact that it's extremely durable while also maintaining a sense of flexibility makes it perfect for electronics that are used daily, especially if you're a little clumsy like me. That being said, Gorilla Glass is not indestructible. Accidents still happen and things may still break. So as long as you're not completely reckless, Gorilla Glass should have you covered if you occasionally drop your phone. Do you have any questions about Gorilla Glass? Comment below, give me a call, or shoot me an email. We have optical experts standing by to answer any questions. Stay tuned to the very end of the video if you want to learn more about how we record our videos. If you like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can tune in next week for more educational videos. Until next time, I'm Sydney with Two Way Mirrors. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Today, I'm using a chroma key green screen as my background for this video. We create so much educational content, it makes sense to leave it up full time, which makes setting up the set and tearing down much faster. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. I'm reading my script off a presidential teleprompter, which utilizes the beam splitter glass that is 30% reflective and 70% transparent. For my script, I'm using an iPad with Prompt Smart Pro that has voice activation technology so I can get through my script quickly and efficiently. Behind the teleprompter is a Canon 1DX Mark III, and it is totally worth it if you're crafting videos regularly. Slap like now if you agree. The memory card reads and writes super fast and is such an amazing upgrade from the Mark II in terms of visual recording and ease of use. Okay guys, that takes you through it. Let me know in the comments what you are currently using in your video recording studio. I'm Sydney with Two Way Mirrors and I'm Audi 5000.